stalwart techno source. Providing you the best, always. Drawn arc stud welding with ceramic ferrule. The drawn arc stud welding is carried on a base material called the workpiece on which welding is performed. A ceramic ferrule is placed on the workpiece, which allows escape of sparks during the process. The stud used consists of a melting flux located at the base of the stud. Stud welding process begins by the stud, which is loaded in the gun. The gun has a truck that holds the stud. The ceramic ferrule is held on a ferrule grip mounted on the footpiece of the gun. The gun is positioned against the workpiece. The gun is triggered, current passes through stud to the workpiece. The stud is lifted from the workpiece for a prescribed length by the solenoid in the gun. It's held for a prescribed length of time. At the end of the weld cycle, the stud is released and plunges into the molten pool of the workpiece contained by the ceramic ferrule. The gun is lifted off from the welded stud. The weld that results is that the length of the stud is reduced. Now, let's have a closer look at the process. This is the cross-sectional view, where the base of the stud is melted along with the workpiece. As the weld cycle is completed, the ferrule is discarded. Drawn arc stud welding with shielding gas. This process is usually used for studs, where shielding gas should be used to avoid pore formation. The gun is positioned against the workpiece. The gun is triggered. Current passes through stud to the workpiece. The base part of the stud is melted using current in the gas through the machine. This is the resultant weld. Short cycle stud welding. The short cycle stud welding is done with or without shielding gas. This process is usually for studs with small diameters and which doesn't contain flux at the base part. The gun is positioned against the workpiece. The gun is triggered, current passes through stud to the workpiece. This is the resultant well. Stalwart Techno Source. Providing you the best, always.